show for a winner <laughs> and uh, let's give a greeting from him and thank you thank you you now represent us and Chris now you have words uh, if everyone wants to ask or to no. say something okay um, well thank you for having me and uh, my words are I can't really find my words right now but uh, for all the Estelal team and everyone who's so nice to me even the journalists we really love them so uh, <laughs> Uh, yes, thank you, and uh, I will do my best in Tel Aviv. That sounds pretty good. <laughs> uh, so, Victor, how has uh, been your day today? What time did you arrive here? Uh, we had a rehearsal at uh, 11, 12? Yeah. yeah, and uh, so we did a run through the show, and then uh, I've been here all day. We found a secret sauna in the top of the building where we had some pizzas. And that is the home on our nerves. And, uh, yeah. You had pizza in the sauna, but you didn't go to sauna. Yeah, but it wasn't on. It was a cold sauna. So we just enjoyed the view and imagine that we were in the sauna. This sounds weird, but it's actually the sauna in this arena. How will you celebrate today? Uh, I don't know, but I have a lot of friends from Sweden. And my family is here, so I'm probably, or I will, gonna meet them afterwards. And uh, yeah, I'm just uh, suck this in that I actually want. <laughs> <laughs> I've read that the yep, I've read that the show has been trending topic on Twitter in uh, Spain. So uh, congratulations on a good show because everyone was really crazy about it, and the public television in Estonia did a great job. Thank I can you. tell you and. For you, Victor, everyone was really happy about the decision. Everyone is happy in Spain about the Spanish fans, and they are already asking you to come to the Spanish Eurovision pre-party in Madrid. Oh, okay. um, I hope that happened. What would you say to the Spanish fans now that you have uh, won the competition? Try to find some, uh, some Spanish words, but uh, <laughs> they're, they're not here. Uh, but thanks for inviting me, and uh, thanks for giving me like, uh, good notes and love. I guess I feel like. Uh, this whole experience has been overwhelming actually. All from the semi-finals when I they sang happy birthday to me and uh, I'm just uh, very humbled and thankful for this opportunity. And especially to Spain. Estor uh, gratis. Gracias, <laughs> por favor. Um, Adi. Uh, <laughs> yes. Hello. So, basically, what, what's your connection to Estonia? Well, I've, I've had the connection to Estonia for like three years now, two and a half, three years. And it's basically, well, we have to thank uh, Stig Resta, who was Stig. in Sweden. Stig. Oh, he's here. Oh, yeah. oh. Big applause. I see. <laughs> uh, so, uh, songwriters and everybody. I don't know, should we do this in Estonia? No, no, no. Uh, we don't 50 words already. 50 words. Yeah, 25 maybe. But, uh, and then he invited me over, so I've been here back and forth for the last few years. And I actually, this is, I actually feel, I really feel at home here. Uh, I don't know if it's because of the Estelau, all the people giving me love, but, uh, yeah. One last question, do you like steak? If, if I, do you like steak? Huh? Do you like, do you like steak? Do you like, do you like, like, if I like steak? Ah, uh, I don't know. Of course, yeah, but, yeah, the, yeah, the distance. <laughs> no. I really do. He's an awesome guy, and so is this guy, and this guy. So yeah. <laughs> so Victor, did you think that you might win? Uh, you are a favorite. Well, I heard from you guys that I was a favorite. I've been trying to not read the papers and everything, but uh, when being interviewed, you guys said that uh, I had a big chance, and uh, yeah. So. I, I guess it was somewhere back in the head, but uh, I thought we were out in the jury box, and I think all of us were. So it was, uh, this has been, I don't know really what to do, right? it's been a roller coaster, so I can't really, I don't know if I was should try, or I'm keeping this stone face right now. Do you know the word uh, winner in Estonian? Mm -hmm. 
Kui nõu saab? Kas me võime esitada küsimuse Stiigile ja Veedile, kus tunnem jälle võita? No, eks ta on ikka hea tunne, et selle tunde vastu ei saa. Eelikult see kord, kui teed saame nagu nii hea sest, kui saame aru, et teed seitanud, Now, now that the question has uh, the question, the victory has become a reality for all the team and the Estonian delegation at the Eurovision. What's the approach now regarding the uh, performance, the all of the details regarding uh, the participation in Eurovision? How will you be approaching the experience? Okay. I, 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 can, I can give a short comment, so we're going we're gonna to just like uh, probably sort of tear it apart, just look at each piece, uh, the, the Eurovision stage is much bigger, it has, you know, LED screens on the, on the floor, in the, you know, in the background, so there are so many opportunities to, to, to do this, so we're, we're definitely not going to go with the exact same thing we did here, so okay. we're, we're going to do something amazing. I'm going to be there though. Yeah, <laughs> he's gonna sing still. Sure. <laughs> Probably with the guitar, but let's see how, how the rest is, is gonna be handled. How are you expecting the Swedish public to receive your victory there in Sweden? Uh, well, I got a lot of text messages. Uh, I haven't read them all, but uh, a lot of love. And even before I came out, I think the song has made a very good, uh, like it's on the radios. And uh, so I think people in Sweden are gonna root for us. For the point. Well, yes. Thank you, guys. I'm gonna stop everybody for a second because it's been a long day and everybody wants to do one-on-one -on -one interviews. So that they rest for two minutes. We're gonna remove the tables and then we're gonna do the one-on-one -on -one interview standing up. Okay? okay. So we'll give them a second. <laughs> <laughs> 